cannot be as peaceful as a cow. Try as hard as you want. Yes? Can you? You cannot be. You may manage it for you eat. They are not serving today. But I think there's a restaurant open. You eat a lot of pongal, it does usually. You know why people in the south are so peaceful? <laughs> you eat a lot of pongal. Hmm? Very peaceful. <laughs> it does. So, people have tried excessive eating, intoxicants, excessive indulgence in pleasures. With all these things, they have tried to create some kind of peacefulness within themselves. You thought you got there, but next moment you know you're not there. Any number of times it's deceived you, isn't it? Yes. One Saturday evening, your whole family met, all of you had a wonderful dinner, you thought this is the height of the world. Everything is so wonderful, magical. Tomorrow morning you see, <laughs> Not because there is something wrong with your family. It is just that with limited entity, you are trying to create an unlimited space. It's not going to work. It's just not going to work. Nothing wrong. It's just that it doesn't work. There are lots of great things in the world which don't work. I'm not interested in them, that's all. You interested in great things? Are you interested in great things? I'm not interested in great things. I'm only interested in things that work. <laughs> I don't want to. There are lots of great things. People claim there are great things. But they don't work. They have not worked for anybody. They're great things because somebody says so. They're great things because somebody thinks too much of himself and whatever he says or does must be great things. But they don't work. We are looking for something that works. If you are determining the course of your experience right now, hundred percent, you are beginning to, you know, the legs are bloody, legs are aching, aching like crazy, but still, it's beginning to work. If you are determining the nature of your experience right now, one hundred percent, let's say, we have to assume that. If you are, then would somebody have to tell you, please create a pleasant experience? Would somebody have to tell you? No. So somebody telling you be loving, be blissful is all bullshit. Because nobody needs to tell you, be pleasant. The problem is you are not able to determine the nature of your experience, isn't it? Yes? The problem is you are unable to determine the nature of your experience for whatever reasons. If you could determine the nature of your experience, nobody has to tell you, be blissful, be loving, be happy, be this. This is all coming from, you know, patchy ideas about life. You see somebody fighting, you say be loving. You see somebody unhappy, you say blissful. It's most insulting. When somebody is in a great state of unhappiness, going and telling be blissful <laughs> is most insulting, isn't it? No? But these are all the great teachings on this planet which have been on for centuries. 
these are all great things that have never worked so we are only seeing how to determine the nature of your experience if you take charge of what causes experience within you if you are in charge of that i am 100% sure you will make it very pleasant for yourself and i am also sure if you are feeling very pleasant within yourself you would be naturally pleasant to everybody around yourself unfortunately people have taken it upon themselves to confuse the humanity so badly about their own nature see it's very simple it doesn't take any damn scripture or a guru to tell you this it's very simple whatever the nature of your experience it's happening within you is it so you don't need some great yoga or a scripture or a guru or a stone that falls from heaven to tell you this if the nature of your experience whatever is the nature of your experience whether it is fear anger love hatred ecstasy agony everything is happening from within you it would be very natural for human beings to look and see how to make it into a most pleasant experience isn't it if you had not freaked them god loves you from up there if you had not exported love to heaven lot of human beings would have been very loving human beings but now we have exported it out there you have to import it for importing it you need permit and there are agents here who don't give those permits so easily it's not coming across because all the love has gone to heaven how to get it now here there's a priest standing here with a permit he won't give it to you whether you want to experience blissfulness whether you want to experience love whether you want to experience ecstasy whatever whatever states of pleasantness human beings have known have come from within them is that so so there is no need to apply for any permit from anywhere you just have to become willing to explore what this is to bring this to the most pleasant state not because it's a virtue love is not a virtue bliss is not a virtue to be pleasant is not a virtue it's just that that is the way you long to be isn't it it is not that if you're loving you'll go to heaven it is not that if you're ecstatic you'll go to heaven it is just that if you're loving and ecstatic you don't need a damn heaven people who have made a hell out of themselves want to go to heaven people who have made a heaven out of themselves where do they want to go wherever the hell they go they don't care so it's very very important if you want to ensure is the volume correct if you want to ensure that the sounds that this one produces is good the more you know about this whole mechanism the better sound you produce isn't it so sometimes by chance it may happen that's different but the more you know about it the better is if you are a sound engineer you produce good sound so if you aim, are an, an inner engineer then you make this the way you want that's all it takes it doesn't need any anything <clears throat> it is just that because it's in a different direction than the way you are constantly looking through your sense perception you need help maybe not necessarily but generally yes you need a certain amount of help but that's all grace is just that help 
that it creates a conducive atmosphere to slip in. If any machinery has to perform well, you know, people have started using these words everywhere these days. You need lubricants, some lubricant. Try to, whatever the great car you have, try to run it without oil. Not ten minutes, it'll be ruined, isn't it? It's the lubricant which is keeping it going. All this great machinery, without that little bit of that thin film of lubricant, it's all destroyed in no time. Grace is just that, that little lubricant so that things happen smoothly. Now they've started calling it liquid engineering. <laughs> Everybody started doing it. <laughs> it's appropriate. <laughs> takes liquid engineering. So, this takes little engineering. Grace is just a lubricant. Without the lubricant, if you try to work, the friction, just the friction of life has destroyed too many human beings, isn't it? Yes? Nothing big they did. All they did was simple things. They were born which was not their doing, they didn't do such a big thing. That just happened. They just want to eat well, sleep well, fulfill their basic needs. This is all they want to do. In the process of doing this, how many human beings are broken and bitter and destroyed? Because no lubricant, nothing wrong with them. They're trying to work their engines without a lubricant, that's all it is. Just see, even your cell phone is working because through, through thin air, they're conducting the sound for you, isn't it? Hmm? We can just disturb that. You know those advertisements, hello, 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 hello. You're seeing those things. <laughs> Phones become like that because there is a little bit of disturbance. That's what is happening with this also. This is a far more sophisticated instrument than anything that you have seen. This needs a little bit of attention. If you pay attention, it pays off. as you want. Yes? Can you? You cannot be. You may manage it for you eat, they're not serving today. But I think there's a restaurant open. We eat a lot of pongal, it does usually. You know why people in the south are so peaceful? You eat a lot of pongal. <laughs> it does. So, people have tried excessive eating, intoxicants, excessive indulgence in pleasures. With all these things, they have tried to create some kind of peacefulness within themselves. You thought you got there, but next moment you know you're not there. Any number of times it's deceived you, isn't it? Yes. One Saturday evening, your whole family met, all of you had a wonderful dinner. You thought this is the height of the world. Everything is so wonderful, magical. Tomorrow morning you see… not because there is something wrong with your family. It is just that with limited entity, you are trying to create an unlimited space. It's not going to work. It's just not going to work. Nothing wrong, it's just that it doesn't work. There are lots of great things in the world which don't work. I'm not interested in that, that's all. You interested in great things? 
are you interested in great things thank you i am not interested in great things i am only interested in things that work <laughs> i don't want to there are lots of great things people claim there are great things but they don't work they have not worked for anybody they are great things because somebody says so they great things because somebody thinks too much of himself and whatever he says or does must be great things but they don't work we are looking for something that works if you are determining the course of your experience right now 100% or you're beginning to you know the legs are bloody legs are aching aching like crazy but still you need to work <laughs> if you are determining the nature of your experience right now 100% let's say we are to assume that if you are then would somebody have to tell you please create a pleasant experience Would somebody have to tell you? No. So somebody telling you be loving, be blissful is all bullshit. Yes or no? Because nobody need to tell you be pleasant. The problem is you are not able to determine the nature of your experience, isn't it? Yes? The problem is you're unable to determine the nature of your experience for whatever reasons. If you could determine the nature of your experience, nobody has to tell you be blissful, be loving, be happy, be this. This is all coming from, you know, patchy ideas about life. You see somebody fighting, you say be loving. You see somebody unhappy, you say blissful. It's most insulting. When somebody is in a great state of unhappiness, going and telling, be blissful, is most insulting, isn't it? No? But these are all the great teachings on this planet, which have been on for centuries. These are all great things that have never worked. So we are only seeing how to determine the nature of your experience. If you take charge of what causes experience within you, if you are in charge of that, I am hundred percent sure you will make it very pleasant for yourself. And I am also sure if you are feeling very pleasant within yourself, you would be naturally pleasant to everybody around yourself. Unfortunately, people have taken it upon themselves to confuse the humanity so badly about their own nature. See, it's very simple, it doesn't take any damn scripture or a guru to tell you this. It's very simple, whatever the nature of your experience, it's happening within you. Is it so? You don't need some great yoga or a scripture or a guru or a stone that falls from heaven to tell you this. If the nature of your experience, whatever is the nature of your experience, whether it's fear, anger, love, hatred, ecstasy, agony, everything is happening from within you, it would be very natural for human beings to look and see how to make it into a most pleasant experience, isn't it? If you had not freaked them, God loves you from up there. If you had not exported love to heaven, lot of human beings would have been very loving human beings. But now we have exported it out there, you have to import it. For importing it, you need permit. And there are agents here who don't give those permits so easily. 
is not coming across because all the love has gone to heaven. How to get it now? Here there's a priest standing here with a permit. He won't give it to you. Whether you want to experience blissfulness, whether you want to experience love, whether you want to experience ecstasy, whatever, whatever states of pleasantness human beings are known have come from within them. Is that so? So, there is no need to apply for any permit from anywhere. You just have to become willing to explore what this is, to bring this to the most pleasant state. Not because it's a virtue, love is not a virtue. Bliss is not a virtue. To be pleasant is not a virtue, it's just that, that is the way you long to be, isn't it? It is not that if you're loving, you'll go to heaven. It is not that if you're ecstatic, you'll go to heaven. It is just that if you're loving and ecstatic, you don't need a damn heaven. People who've made a hell out of themselves want to go to heaven. People who've made a heaven out of themselves, where do they want to go? Wherever the hell they go, they don't care. So, it's very, very important. If you want to ensure… Is the volume correct? If you want to ensure that the sounds that this one produces is good, the more you know about this whole mechanism, the better sound you produce. Isn't it so? Sometimes by chance it may happen, that's different. But the more you know about it, the better. If you are a sound engineer, you produce good sound. So if you are an inner, an inner engineer, then you make this the way you want. That's all it takes. It doesn't need any… anything. <clears throat> it is just that because it's in a different direction then the way you are constantly looking through your sense perception, you need help maybe, not necessarily but generally, yes. You need a certain amount of help but that's all. Grace is just that help that it creates a conducive atmosphere to slip in. If any machinery has to perform well, you know, people have started using these words everywhere these days. You need lubricants, some lubricant. Try to, whatever the great car you have, try to run it without oil. Not ten minutes, it'll be ruined, isn't it? It's the lubricant which is keeping it going. All this great machinery, without that little bit of that thin film of lubricant, it's all destroyed in no time. Grace is just that, that little lubricant so that things happen smoothly. Now they've started calling it liquid engineering. <laughs> Everybody started doing it. <laughs> it's super <appropriate. laughs> Takes liquid engineer. So, this takes little engineering. Grace is just a lubricant. Without the lubricant, if you try to work, the friction, just the friction of life has destroyed too many human beings, isn't it? Yes. Nothing big they did. All they did was simple things. They were born which was not their doing, they didn't do such a big thing. That just happened. They just want to eat well, sleep well, fulfill their basic needs. This is all they want to do. In the process of doing this, how many human beings are broken and bitter and destroyed? Because no lubricant, nothing wrong with them. They're trying to work their engines without a lubricant, that's all it is. Just see, even your cell phone is working because through, through thin air, they're conducting the sound for you, isn't it? Hmm? We can just disturb that. 
you know those advertisements hello 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 you seeing those things <laughs> phones become like that because there is a little bit of disturbance that's what is happening with this also this is a far more sophisticated instrument than anything that you have seen this needs a little bit of attention if you pay attention it pays off <laughs>